Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. I do exactly how I feel and exactly what I want to do. You like that? I've had so many, but they've either broken or got misplaced or they're somewhere. I don't know where they are. After I started using it, I use it every night. No fail. Every night. Solnik. Solnik is just a vibe. It's a vibe. It's basically like a music fest for house music and soul house music. So, you know, you're going to get a vibe. I literally wait for the time of the year to go to Solnik every year. And obviously, because we had the pandemic, it was closed Stop. for a few years. But I'm so happy that it's back. If you are ever in LA, you got to come check out Solnik. Like, it is just pure love and it, just beautiful energy in the air and it's just all about feel good like it's just feel good people there Every time. you might see anybody there oh and the food don't let me get on the food the food is so good they have all these different types of food trucks there i mean they be having jamaican food soul food and guess what we doing right now guess what we're doing right now just watch we about to be at Solnik and I can't eat. Is that what you're telling this me? This is where the test becomes like a challenge. I don't like to be tested. We about to be tested. Let's see if we about to be good. Are we gonna be good? I don't know. Hey. 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 Can you see? Huh? Hey. Solnik. Is a vibe. It's a vibe. Sonic is a pure vibe. Super vibe. Good energy. <sighs> it's just so much fun. Take this back. Mm, let's go. Hey. <laughs> I've been dancing for a number of years. And dance is just in me. I mean, I've been dancing since I was a baby. And it has been just, I mean, my, my grandmother would be like, Zaki, you dance. It was one of those, you know? So it's been just something that has is inside of me. It's, in, it's part of my soul, kind of. And I just love it. I'll never stop dancing. I imagine when I'm 100 years old, I'll still be, you know, doing a little one of these. Not very much, but just a little move. That's all I need to do. <laughs> Seeing Zakia dance is um, its actually very beautiful because I get to see her just be free in that moment, not think about anything, and also just her in her bag. It's like this confidence exuding and this energy, and it's beautiful to watch. I feel like I'm in front row. I honestly don't even remember how I first found out about Sonic. Oh, honestly, it was from Instagram. That's how I found out it about Sonic. It better be. From somebody's Instagram, and I was like, why didn't I know about this? And then I was like, oh, I'm going next year, because it had just happened, and yeah. I went that following year and it was before maybe two years before the pandemic i learned about house music in chicago because obviously chicago is the mecca of house music all right but um so when i moved to la i was like where's the house music vibes and i just started doing research i think i found out about it from probably instagram or facebook and um they had just kind of started and i was just like i gotta go check it out so there you go hey Everybody got 
check it out. Okay, look, I know what you're thinking. We were not prepared. We, we were not prepared. Not we prepared. just started this detox. Uh, we didn't know what. Like, we were like, we was rushing out the house. We were rushing out the house. And we grabbed an apple and a mango and whatever else is in this bag, some ice. Hey, what are we supposed to do with that? Let's go. What are we supposed to do with that? Mango, let's go. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> I was like watching YouTube and then this dude comes on my um, my feed and his name was G Bryant and the title said eating fruits and veggies for like 90 days then he had like a million views I was like and he was black and I'm like let me check this out and I watched it I had to I was like babe you gotta watch this with me this dude did a whole detox where he just ate fruits and veggies for 90 days and I just thought it was so beautiful because the energy that he was exuding, you could just feel his like clarity and his excitement. And also he just looked really healthy and I wanted that. We got mangoes, an apple and a peach. Everybody wants a lotion. Gotta have some lotion with you at some, in your car, in your bag. You gotta have it on you, especially, well for me personally, my skin, well my, not even my skin, my hands gets dry and I hate the feeling of feeling dry on my feet or on my hands. So I gotta have lotion at all times. How you bring lotion? I will, I will not. I, will. I am throw. Is it super cute, baby? Babies love me. Babies love me. I don't know if that's why I was a nanny for so long. Babies and children, they just love me. They'll just walk up to me. They'll be smiling at me. Like, they are just attracted to me. I guess I have this just motherly feel about myself that just is, I exude this motherly feel that just children love. They feel um, safe, they feel comforted, they feel, you know, happy just when I'm around. So, they always are attracted to me. Her name is Indigo, she's gorgeous. Hi. You know what? She probably thinks this is a toy. The fluffy thing. <laughs> yeah, we have a number of questions, but we don't know about that. This how do we? They look at you. They look at you. She's here. Get in the house. Stop filming it. 